The Conrad Murray trial continues on um, day six of the trial. Uh, it was the girlfriend testimony day, right? Uh, several different girlfriends came up to the stand and testified about Conrad Murray and his relations with Michael Jackson. One of those girlfriends was N Nicole Alvarez. And the reason why I bring her up is because she's a character. All right, so we have uh, two different videos for you guys. Let's watch the first one. I'd like to ask you questions now about your relationship with Conrad Murray. When did you first meet him? I first met him, I believe it was in 2005. And where did you meet? I met him out. Where did you meet him? I met him out in a social setting. Was that a club? I believe so. And was the club located in Las Vegas? Yes. Were you socializing at the club as well? Yes. Is it a place that you've socialized on a regular basis? Objection, Rollins. Sustained. Was Conrad Murray a guest at this club? Objection, Rollins. Overruled. You may answer. I, I, he was there, yes. Well, you met him there. Was he working there or was he a guest? I believe he was a guest. Are you certain about that? Yes. Okay. So. Is she trying to get her to admit that she worked at a strip club? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, but that's why she's standoffish. But I'm uh, massively amused by her like body language. Like, I met him out. Uh, out. Where could it be a club? Could be. <laughs> she's, like, you, I'm so you, amused by her. I can't take yeah, it. Yeah. Were you confused as to whether it was a strip club or not? Could be. <laughs> All right. The one time that the judge says she didn't have to answer, she's like. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> uh, the most entertaining aspect of this trial. Okay, so uh, in the second video, she's asked what she does with her time. Oh, and this, this answer is awesome. Let's watch. Did Conrad Murray also um, help you with other financial aspects, utilities, food, and so forth? At times, I was working, so that was his choice. If he wanted to pitch in, if he felt the need to do that, that was his choice. And you were working where? I am an actress with the Screen Actors Guild since 1998. And where were you working in June and May of 2009? I was acting. Describe for me, please, what you were doing. Well, as a professional actress, my daily duties consist of maintaining my instrument, going on several castings um, throughout town, meeting with different casting directors, and continuing to study and refine my craft. So I was working. It, acting is a little bit different than a nine to five. It's a little bit different. I don't have an office that I go to. Certainly, let me Driving stop you. Driving to a casting is my job. Let me stop you and ask you another question. Yes. When you refer to an instrument, what are you referring to? Myself. I see. Myself. As an actor, your instrument is yourself. <laughs> I mean, you can't beat that with a stick, man. That's awesome. You know, as a talk show host, I'm also an instrument. <laughs> I'm a really large instrument. I maintain my instrument all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to know more about that. <laughs> I'm talking like, about myself. No, no, yeah. yes. So we but got it that. sounds like, it sounds so dirty. Like, I could not say that with a straight face. Like, <laughs> uh, I maintain my instrument. <laughs> but it would be worse if I said it, right? <laughs> like, Jake, what do you do all day long? Oh, I maintain my huh? instrument.